In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Finger Lakes. At number one, we have the Corning Museum of Glass. This museum is a treasure trove for art and history enthusiasts, showcasing a vast collection of glass art and historical pieces. The innovation center within the museum focuses on the science of glass, with hands-on exhibits and live glassmaking demonstrations. Visitors can even take a beginner's glassmaking class. At number two, we have the Watkins Glen State Park. This popular state park is known for its 19 waterfalls and picturesque trails, especially the Gorge Trail. This looped path, which spans two miles, winds over and under the falls and through the spray of the Cavern Cascade. At number three, we have the Finger Lakes Skiing. During the winter season, the Finger Lakes region becomes a destination for both downhill and cross-country skiers. The two major year-round resorts, Bristol Mountain and Greek Peak, offer a variety of winter sports. At number four, we have the Seneca Lake Wine Trail. Situated in the heart of the Finger Lakes wine region, this trail is one of the most popular, offering 27 wineries in a concentrated area adjacent to the 75-mile shoreline. At number five, we have the Robert Treeman State Park. This park is known for its rugged and stony gorge, Enfield Glen, and the 115-foot Lucifer Falls. Lucifer Falls is just one of 12 waterfalls along the park's nine miles of winding trails. At number six, we have the Tawannock Falls State Park. The waterfall at this park is one of New York's most spectacular natural sights, descending more than 200 feet over 400-foot-tall rocky cliffs above the gorge. At number seven, we have the Strong National Museum of Play. This museum in downtown Rochester has something for kids of any age. From Sesame Street, board games, dolls, and books to the latest electronic games, the museum is home to the world's most comprehensive toy collection. At number eight, we have the George Eastman Museum. Located in Rochester, this facility is the world's oldest museum of photography and one of the oldest film archives. It is housed within the former estate of George Eastman, a photography and film pioneer. At number nine, we have Cornell University. Founded in 1865 by Ezra Cornell and Andrew Dixon White, this Ivy League private university is located in Ithaca. When you're not exploring Cornell's 745 acres, head to College Town for budget-friendly eats and university apparel, or nearby Cayuga Lake for more outdoorsy pursuits. At number 10, we have Watkins Glen International. Since 1948, Watkins Glen has been one of the premier racing facilities in North America, hosting everything from the Ferrari Challenge North America to the NASCAR Xfinity Series. At number 11, we have the Harriet Tubman National Historical Park. Harriet Tubman was an abolitionist who was born into slavery in Maryland in 1822. As an adult, she escaped to the North when she learned she was to be sold after the death of her enslaver. At number 12, we have the Women's Rights National Historical Park. Seneca Falls is known as the birthplace of women's rights. It was in this New York town where the first women's rights convention was held in the United States in July 1848. At number 13, we have the Sonnenberg Gardens and Mansion State Historic Park. Imagine being able to visit 50 acres of outdoor serenity. If this sounds ideal, the Sonnenberg Gardens and Mansion State Historic Park may be the ideal day trip. At number 14, we have the Cayuga Lake Wine Trail. The Cayuga Lake Wine Trail is the first organized and longest-serving wine trail in the United States. Located along the 40-mile Cayuga Lake, expect to see astounding views of the lake and the Toganic Falls while enjoying the wineries along the trail. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Finger Lakes. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.